guys it's iris welcome back to my channel if you're returning if it's your first time thank you for joining me today uh the mess that you are staring at right now is my tiny little apartment kitchen uh i promise you i've been awake since uh, about seven o'clock this morning cleaning and now i am in declutter and organization mode so that is uh why you're looking at all of this right now this is going to end up being a two-part video, but I figured before I dove into it, I would uh, film, since I haven't filmed any declutters in a while, but this right here, this beautiful cabinet right here, is the main reason for this video. This is my baking cabinet. I don't know why it looks the way that it does. Everything is just kind of thrown in there, and I am not cool with it. So, and I think how this happened was just that when we moved in, all of this stuff just kind of got thrown in there and I've never actually done anything else with it. And we have a lot of extra dishes that we don't ever get to use. So that's why these wine glasses are over here. Uh, but let me also show you, I, I have tackled this mess so many times. It is ridiculous and I cannot keep it under control and it is driving me crazy. But this over here is my pantry. I actually did this probably a couple of weeks ago, but as you can see, I've actually got everything fairly well organized. Uh, I've got some containers that I got at Dollar Tree and some little chalkboard stickers that I stuck on them. There's some other behind those umpteen billion jars, th four jars of peanut butter. <laughs> is uh some sugar and some other stuff that are in uh containers as well but this top shelf is baking which makes no sense for me to have a baking shelf here and sorry if you're seasick and a baking cabinet over here so these two actually really need to get merged together but there's that shelf uh the next one is all canned goods and a couple of things that aren't actually canned goods. There's some croutons and some uh, french fried onions there as well. The next shelf was supposed to be spices, but most of my spices are actually out on my counter. So uh, it ended up being whatever condiments I had left in the cupboard and then moved over to boxed items. And more boxed items on the bottom uh, and all of my pasta and that type of stuff down there as well. This bottom shelf right here, this is my son's shelf. This is everything that is okay for him to come in and grab anytime he wants, and he does. He'll come in here and ransack this cabinet. Uh, and then this bottom shelf here, besides the bag of cereal that's down here, this is our hurricane provisions. I think I've told you guys before that we live in, uh, in Biloxi, Mississippi, so we're on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and it is hurricane season right now. This is the bottom area right here is where we keep our our hurricane provisions. So in the event that we get hit with a storm and, you know, we lose power for a few days, we are all set with some SpaghettiOs and baby food and some other canned items down here. This is not all of what we're going to have. We pretty much slowly build on this all year. Anytime we find stuff on sale, that can be uh, used for this. That's what we that's what we do. We buy our SpaghettiOs when they go on sale at Walmart for like 84 cents. We stockpile, and that's what we do. So there is all of that. Also, this is what I am most proud of in this entire cabinet. This is just one of those little shoe racks that you can get at Dollar Tree. I swear to you, I bought this at Dollar Tree. But this has all of like my little packs of like baking stuff, uh, grits and oatmeal packets, and then all of my uh, gravy packs and, and seasonings are down here as well. So there's all of that. Uh, this is going to end up being a two-part video. I don't know why I'm showing you this over here, but yeah. All of this will not be on my counter the next time you see a video posted from me. This is gonna be a two-part video. Uh, so yeah, 
I'm gonna start cleaning and when I get done I'm gonna film and show you guys the finished results. See you guys later. Bye!